I mean, I've got my struggles, you know, it's, it's sure. not like life is easy. I mean, I still, I still battle depression and anxiety, you know, um, the first and foremost, one thing I wanted to say is, is for, for anybody new in recovery or that's going to be new in recovery, I think one of the, one of the biggest mistakes, uh, people new people new in recovery make is they try to rec reclaim too much too quickly. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you it, it's a process. It's not all going to come back right away you you need to just grind and just trust the process um for me personally um luckily i'm very busy my days on the water are long i diana can tell you i'm always tired which is great for me okay right. when i have a bunch of free time and i've had a bunch of sleep and i've got a bunch of energy and nowhere to put it, it it's not bad my brain races it doesn't stop so i get to i, I get to focus and harness on the good stuff right um, you know, I, I'm up most mornings at three thirty, four a.m. You know, I'm not getting home until, you know, four or five a lot of days. So those 12 hour days in the sun and ever, you know, you think, oh, you go fish, you just hang out. I mean, you've seen me. It's yeah. a lot of work. You know, yeah. it's mentally it's 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 exhausting because I put so much pressure on myself to perform to get my clients on fish, because obviously that's you know, that's that's what they're looking for. They don't want to go take a boat ride. Yeah. Um, it, that helps a lot with my stress and anxiety, with, with my anxiety and, and depression. Um, me and Diana, we stay busy. I mean, we, we don't have a weekend where we just lay around the house. You know, we've got our calendar is jam packed. Like our friends, they always joke. They're like, we're going to have to put it on your calendar three months from now to have dinner. I'm like, well, you might, you, <laughs> but we stay busy, you know, and it's and she likes that because right. that wasn't her past. She wants to do stuff. I want to do stuff. It's good for me. So it works out awesome. Um, I am on an SSRI. Oh, okay. You know, I, I take, um, it's called Boost Bar. I take a daily medication yeah. for stress and anxiety and, you know, it, it for anxiety and depression. I keep saying stress. They, they go hand in hand yeah. though, right? Yeah, I just started Wellbutrin, which is not an SSRI, but more the, uh, the dopamine area, my doctor thought, because of uh, with the alcoholism and other things I shared, probably, you know, this, the pornography and mm -hmm. the way I was sexually. And, you know, it's like I could... Thank goodness for the lady I'm with now that she's been so patient with me because yeah, right. it's like oh my gosh, wait, I, I I never realized I had to be intoxicated to some level to share physical intimacy, and right. usually I wasn't making good decisions anyway. Right, but right. but now that I'm in a place where it's good, it's safe, it's about the love that we share for each other. You know, it's like right. oh oh, it took me some yeah, some, some and it's amazing. Yeah, and you're like, what was I doing all these years? <laughs> right? Like you're so, you're like. I had it so backwards. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. And so, no, he started me with the, the Wellbutrin because he's like, okay, I don't want, yeah, I'm, I'm a little more worried about an SSRI for you. And it seems to be working well. Right. My energy's coming up. Right. Still have an anxiety, but the depression isn't hitting me as much. Right. And it's, and it's, it, it's, that's the thing. I mean, you got two people right here telling you how much it's helped. It has completely changed my life. Sure. I mean, it makes my life so much more manageable. Yeah. Um, and I think it's good that we share that to, to, especially for men, that there's like some stigma that we got to know. Right. Sometimes like the doctor's like, look, we've talked, but this is the, the third time you've come in, right. told me the same thing. We need to go ahead and let go of our balls. And my doctor's right. very straight up, let go of our balls in yeah. this one and just realize, hey, and, and he goes, if it's working, good. Here's the thing with it not being an SSRI, I prescribe this to people that have seasonal depression. Right. So, you know, you can always taper off or something yeah. if you want to. And, and it's not a sign of weakness, right? Yeah. I mean, you're, 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 our brains aren't aren't wired perfectly. <laughs> you know, if you I mean, if you get um, if you go get, you know, a nasty sinus infection, you go get antibiotics, right? Yeah. Because it's miserable and you can't hardly live without them. Yeah. Well, what, what's the difference if your brain's not functioning properly? You yeah. know, you, you, you got it. There's such a negative stigma. You know, I, I don't want to go on medication. And I fought it for a while. Sure. It's the worst thing I ever did. I mean, it's my life's completely changed since then, you know? Yeah.